Hi friends, I am Miss Cat. I'm one STEM educators at Boys and Girls Club and today I want to be showing you an experiment where you can learn about the relationship between refraction and density. Have you ever gone to the pool or the ocean and you put your hand underwater and you think it looks kind of funny? Like it looks kind of bigger and it looks kind you know to the side. That is an example of refraction. So you're probably thinking Miss Cat what is refraction? The refraction is the bending of light because of the presence of different densities that you see it through. So like when I look at you or you look at me, you are only looking through air which has a very 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 tiny density. But if you look at an object through a different substance that's a different density such as like a liquid, you know, a translucent or see-through solid, then it would look different because the density is going to be different. And I'm going to show you how you can test that out today. So what you're going to need for this experiment today is some glasses. I have about four. You can either get two or like as many as you want because each glass will be holding one kind of liquid. Then you're going to need some type of oil. Then you're going to need water. I don't really have a picture of water. so And then dish soap. And you'll see why I chose these three in just a sec. So to start off, let's grab also a pencil. You need a pencil for this as well. And if you want to write down any observations or anything, I would encourage you to get a like a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper as well so you can record your observations. Before we fill up anything, let's look at our pencil. If I put it right in front of me, I can easily, you know, touch it. Pretty thin, pretty long. Nothing's really different because I'm just holding it, right? What if we put it in a glass? Like you already see, my face looks a lot different. You can see that like already the pencil looks a little different. Like you can kind of see at the top, it's like kind of inverted due to the curvature of the glass, but nothing's really special about it yet. So let's fill it up with water. So you can already see something is totally whack at the moment. Not only does my pencil look kind of bigger under the water than it does above, but it looks kind of shifted too. It looks like it starts like over here when it really starts right there. So that's kind of weird. So this is kind of what I was talking about. It's shifted and it's bigger. And I think that's crazy. Why does the pencil look bigger in the water. Let's do another example. Let's do vegetable oil. So here we have our vegetable oil and vegetable oil has a density that is less than water, which means it may feel thinner and but it's still not even close to air. So it's still something that's going to be um, changing our perspective of the object. So like even if I put my <laughs> so if I just put my pencil in. So does it look bigger? under the oil than the top and does it look shifted because i still think it looks it looks pretty shifted um it looks it looks bigger than the top um very similar to the water but i don't think it's as big but if you are taking observation notes on your piece of paper then you can try to draw your result and see if it's smaller or bigger so yeah that's our vegetable oil and from the other side so you can see it's clearly shifted so now let's move on to our dish soap. So if you couldn't tell by trying to squeeze out your dish soap, it is very thick, you know, it's, which means it's very dense. And dish soap has a density of usually between like 1.1, 1.5 um, cubic centimeters per milliliter, which may, has, makes it a higher density than water. And so let's look at what our pencil is going to look like in dish soap. So from my perspective, I don't know if you can really tell through the video, but it looks still bigger on the bottom. It kind of looks very similar to water as well. You know, it's bigger, it's still shifted. And here's a clear view from this side as well. It, you can see it's like, it's supposed to stop there, but it, you know, goes to the side right here and it gets bigger. But yeah, so what what's causing all this? So if you did observations, this is maybe something that it came out to. And so in this jar, we saw that we just saw the pencil very normally and there was no, you know, mistaken how we perceive the object. But in the water one, we saw that it shifted and then it got bigger. And the reason why that happened is because refraction um, bends light. And so as light comes through, then because of the liquid, it will be refracted one of the ways and it's not going to go just straight through. And then it'll come out like this. So it's going to appear your pencil is like, you know, right here when it's really right here. 
So yeah, so I hope you learned something about the relationship between density and refraction, and I hope you learned what refraction is today, and I hope you stay tuned for more STEM videos from our amazing STEM team.